way back when I first started my channel, I made this for my car. Now, the problem here is, is, uh, you see that? <laughs> and it's really irritating when this is spinning and you're driving, because you can't help but just keep turning it, you know? Uh, the issue, I think, is this is when I first started, so I bought the Amazing Clear, and I believe I weighed it out one-to-one -one and poured it. Well, that's a by volume stuff. <laughs> And, well, at least what I used was by volume, I believe. So, when I weighed it out one-to-one, -one, it was way too much hardener, or way not enough something. But the mix wasn't correct, so this is what I ended up with, and I, and I think that's why. So, I'm going to make another one, only this time, I'm going to keep the, uh, the red, white, and blue theme going for the month of July here. And I'm going to, uh, I've already done these now. I'm going to fill these in red, white, and blue. Oops, that one escaped couple 45s why not and I have an arbor all right so this is a union a threaded union that'll fit the threads on my Ford or my Model A so uh, this one here is I can't get it off because it's underneath that to hide it so you don't see it and these are just shotgun shotgun casing the brass at the bottom of it I just drilled them out just to hide it and then when we drop these all in this is gonna be my arbor so I can hold on to it so it'll should have threaded into there but so so that's going to go in and this is going to be my mold hopefully i don't break this when i drill a hole through the bottom of it <laughs> and and put my arbor in it Okay, so I have a rubber plug in there. I need to fill this with resin. I need to fill this with resin so that uh, I don't have any air pockets. So we got facet resin. I'm gonna use a pipette and I'm gonna use the end for one of the Starbond glue tips. I'm gonna fill that up. I'll probably put another one on it and fill that one up. But right now this is facet resin and we're gonna go with it. Just like this. Maybe, if it ever fills up. Okay, so. 
That's about the best we're gonna get. All right, <clears throat> so and uh, that's I, I can't mess with it no more. So I'm gonna mix up some resin and then we'll get it into pressure pot. Okay then. <laughs> okay, so apparently I didn't think about compressing the air inside there after I sealed it up. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's throwing a little bit of a wrench in it. As you can see, this is now at an angle, but I think I'm just going to bandsaw it off anyways. It should still have enough to do what I wanted to do with it. And then we'll uh, get it on a lathe. Hopefully it didn't leak any and that's all I was worried about it did leak a little bit see here so but not not bad at all uh, hopefully I can get this off it appears it came on the outside hopefully it didn't come through the threads <laughs> Ooh, look at that. all right so I got a little bubble in there that I can see uh, I really had to uh, I wanted to clean these out because it it apparently got up in there even though I tried to seal it <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure what I want to do now <laughs> okay so into Jacob's Chuck on my mandrel uh, I'm gonna try to shape the bottom here I'm not sure how this is gonna go uh, I had problems with the hardness of the brass last time so I annealed these ones which consists of you know heating them up so they're glowing red dropping them into cold water which is the exact interpretation of hardening steel so it's backwards but anyways hopefully they're softer and then I sent them over to my dad's and he sonic polished them with a but <clears throat> so I'm gonna see if we can cut it with a traditional tool I might have to go to carbide but uh, this is as straight as I can get it on here. So we're going to try to shape it like this. It might look more like a big teardrop by the time I'm done or an upside down egg or something like that. But uh, We'll see. So 2,000 RPM. Okay, one thing I noticed right off the get-go, no problem cutting it, but it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> All the shards that are hitting me, like like uh, this guy here and this guy here, I can feel those. So I'm going to get a coat on, and I'll be back to this in a second. But see that? No problem cutting it at all. They're so soft they're rolling over. The resin is melting. Alright, so I had to switch the carbide. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's metal, so the traditional tools just aren't cutting it. And, and I kind of expected that. So but right now. That is a big old void I didn't want. I just ripped something out of there. I'm not sure what it was. I've seen it fall. <laughs> I'm not sure what it was. Probably the primer out of there. 
I'm trying to slope this off a little more to, to lose this and to lose this one. Because they've come out of there. So that's all I'm doing right now. stuff like this. Maybe not. <laughs> Goes through the resin pretty good. You can do the press really good though. Oh, there went another primer. I thought it would be a little easier. I don't remember the screwdriver being such a pain in the butt. Maybe I think I'm thinking about it too much, but see that ripped open like that? That shouldn't be like that. So clearly, well, they, it is warm, but I'm not sure what to do with that at the moment. Currently I'm up to 320 grit. I am going to put the CA finish on it, like I said. I'm just trying to get rid of a good majority of the scratches. So that is what we have. Uh, some of these holes, I'm going to have to, hopefully they fill. And we'll wipe it down with, uh, let me see how they're... <laughs> Oh, I have a time with denatured alcohol here. Real quick. Um, so that's what you got. <laughs> Until it goes. So that's what I'm going to do the CA finish. So it looks like glass, basically. And then, I don't know. I'll try to buff it. I got buffing wheels. We'll see how that goes. But it needs some more sanding, and that's what I'm going to do right now. So. But a little bit of paste wax. <laughs> On the threads, because I'm a little worried that I'm not going to be able to uh, get them off. So, hopefully the CA glue don't stick to this. <laughs> that, that's all I'm worried about right now. I'm going to run... I couldn't barely get it off just now. So. <laughs> I'm going to put some wax on it just to make sure. I'm not done sanding yet, but I just want to make sure. Well, it might be. 320. 
Come on, just go on there. There you go. I don't know if it'll go all the way down without the nut on there. Oh, the wax is just building up. That ain't good. I want to be able to get it off, you know. There we go. Clean it up again with some more denatured alcohol. And Does look pretty good like that, don't it? Should have intermingled them a little bit better instead of just like a blop of blue, a blop of red, and a blop of white. But it'll be all right. Can't see it from your house. All right, folks. So, 500 RPM. Uh, I'll start buying super fast. Then there's a promo code in the description below. I believe it's for 15% off. I'm going to do this just like a pen blank. So, five coats of thin and five coats of well, it says thin, but it's <laughs> it's thick, so it's medium. So uh, but this is what I'm gonna do for right now, and it might be a little too fast. It's not a pen, and it's much bigger, so we will slow it down a bit. Oh, there you guys are. Anywho, um, a sticker, okay. Deadwood Casting and Turning. Uh, it's from Quentin. Thank you, Quentin. Uh, I got to send one out, buddy. So hopefully it, you get it in a day or two because I still got a few days before this is going up. But anyways, right there, there is where I put your sticker. I get this one on a pressure pot most likely. So, uh, yeah, now, uh, when I did the first one, the screwdriver, people suggested I should have done it in red, white, and blue. That's fine. Sure. Huh. Okay. You know, I didn't think about it when I did that. It was just, uh, let's put resin in and get it done. So I did this one in red, white, and blue with my ammo casing. Uh, so, you know, you got nine millimeters, uh, 22 magnums. These are two, two, threes. Those are nine millimeters. And then the couple three right here on the top, the red, white, and blue ones are... 45 ECPs. So, yeah, uh, I ain't really a whole lot to tell about it. Uh, it wasn't quite what I expected. It was not as hard as the other one. So the annealing process did help. I still had to use carbide. And as you can tell, if you see this blue one right here, it's bent. And that's because it, it, the bang and bent it, and it got hot and kind of warmed up the resin and moved it over. So sharp carbide is probably a good idea. Uh, not that I couldn't turn it with traditional tools, I did do it. Um, the carbide did help better. So um, that being said, eh, you know, give her a thumbs up or a, a thumbs down. Uh, I really like it. It's not perfect, but I mean, it's going in my car. It's going to be like, hey, look at that. Eh, where'd you get that? You know, everybody go over and check out uh, 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 check out Quentin over there at his channel. I'll put all that in the description below and I've probably already put it up there or I'm, I'll put it up there also <laughs> so uh, let's go out here hang on let's 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 I don't I can't turn the camera around like this so y'all got to uh walk with me here and the camera won't let me turn it around so angry birds <laughs> I don't know I might be able to take you guys for a ride I don't know all right, here. So we're gonna go in the Ford. That's a 1929 Model A2 door. So we'll put you guys in here for right now. 
Here you guys will look down. That's what I'm looking at. <coughs> you guys are right over there? <laughs> so anywho, what are you looking at? Alright, so there's a shiftery knob. This one's factory. Excuse. What do you think? How's that look? Any one of these? Uh. Return Trinkion. Big yard, Just drive all over it. <laughs> oh, what do you see out the window? Oh, look, the wife's going. That throws a wrench into the plan here. I was going to drive through there. Drive through the yard, go to the road. Leave them there, apples. Yeah.